5. VW Beetle Dune Cabriolet 1.2 TSI DSG, 2016, Review When the affable James Taylor asks me to review a new car I'm always keen. All cars are interesting, every new model a fresh challenge, nothing I could conceivably be asked to drive would necessitate me asking what is it? Before committing. This time I should have asked. Regret flooded my body faster and more comprehensively than a shot of anabolic steroids through a pre-event athlete. This, despite my innate insistence not to pass judgment until tested, would likely not end well for this special edition of the aging second-gen new Beetle. For one thing, Volkswagen spuriously claims the Dune is somehow inspired by, and pays tribute to, the achingly cool and oft-competitive Baja bugs of old. This quaddy marketing mobilized, street-going pram could do them no justice. But it's not overly expensive, right? Alas, similarly questionable is the price. This particular car, with a 1.2-liter petrol engine, no less, costs £25,730 before options. That's over £7,000 more than a Svelte Mazda MX-5, or similarly stylized DS3 Cabriolet and only a beach ball's throw from a BMW 2 Series convertible, or in Group A3 Cabriolet. The Dune also clocks in at £2,395 more than the equivalent regular Beetle Cabriolet, yet its equipment list is ominously devoid of the likes of climate, cruise control and heated seats. Perhaps, you would assume, compensation comes in the form of a set of skid plates, a decent lift and all-wheel drive? I could see the appeal in that concept, an easy-going soft top that you could easily mooch around on the beach in, reveling in our micro fortnight long summer. Alas, the Dunes Premium nets you a fruitless 10mm lift in ride height, off-road bumpers, arch protectors, bespoke wheels and paint. You get some decals to inform other motorists just how awry your purchasing decision has gone, too.